All right. So here is another C++ program called Fundraiser V3. This is going to be the third version of Fundraiser. Um, the difference between this fundraiser and the uh, last fundraiser, and I skipped version 2 because the only difference between version 2 and version 1 is I'm using characters instead of 1 through 4. Um, but version 3, I also threw some rather robust uh, invalid entry catchers uh, into this program. Um, and um, let's just go ahead and get started here. So, in the main program, the variables are going to look like this. We got the central value x, escapes the while loop, got another constant integer, then we got a string array, of course we need the string library for it, we got freshmen, sophomore, junior, seniors. Okay, this, of course this array is going to store the uh, money amount. We're going to need winner again, string grade, and yeah. And a couple undeclared variables. Next up, let's just get this big chunk of code. Some simple output statements. This will show us the index, instructions. Get to throw a getch there to you know, do a little pause before you begin. Make it look a little more official. Then we're going to um, have the user request these entries, F, S, J, and capital S, freshman, sophomore, junior, and senior. And you want to press N, you click the X sentinel value. And what we're going to take in is your grade variable. Here I'm going to throw in a while loop called yourgrade.size. Um, size function less greater than one. Anytime you enter something with more than one character, um, what it's going to do is it's going to um, drop you into this while loop where it'll clear the um, input buffer, ignore 20 characters uh, once it finds a new line, and then um, it'll display this message and then you'll re input your grade and it'll keep, keep you trapped in that loop until you. Um, obey the rules. So that's obviously a bad thing because you don't want to type in freshman because we told you to only type in these characters. You can't do F R E S and spell the whole thing out. No, you just got to type in one character. Here, um, we got another while condition doing something very similar where if it's not F and S, so anything that's beyond this, like if you type in T or X or a squiggly or any just random character that's not these, will tell you that it's an invalid character. And then you must re-input your grade. Okay, and next we'll go onwards to the bigger while loop. So while your grade is not the null, um, and this is both strings. Uh, when I had it as a character in a string, it didn't work like that. So you must have uh, like terms, so a string and string. Got to watch for that. Um, so there's an if condition. If you typed in H, F, uh, the G variable will become these numbers. 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, or 0, 1, 2, 3. Um, then the amount for contributor and then they'll throw in the selected index. Um, and then here, x stores the money from the amount of the, from the user input. If it fails to be uh, an integer, it'll fall into this loop. And the syntax is a little different, so if it's not the cn um, x, this is the way of saying not being an integer, will fall into this loop saying that it must be a money amount. We'll clear it and then ignore 20 characters until a new line. Okay, and then after that uh, amount, if G ends up being any of these numbers, uh, we'll start appending X to the associated index. 
Um, this will all match uh, parallel to sophomores, freshmen, 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, like that. Or 0, 1, 2, 3. Why do I keep saying 4? Uh, and then we'll uh, request that you do some more um, grade levels by entering these characters with the null value again. And we'll throw in... Um, it will tell you to get the input there. We'll do another validator right there. Um, and if it is valid, it will just jump you right back up to the loop. And it, you keep going. I'm going to go ahead and paste the rest of that this all at once. This is stuff that we bent, went over. Here we're going to associate the donated amount, the contributor to the uh, donated amount, the greatest, the winner obviously, and then we're going to associate the winner. The winner is this stuff we've been over before. Let's uh, run the program. See what it looks like, right? So here's the cool text in the beginning. Index, okay, so you know what you're typing in for. And then after this, you select the grade level, select the donation amount, state the donation amount, not select the donation amount. Hit any character to begin. Okay, I will type in that. Enter your grade level. Uh, how about I say no? Multiple characters. Okay, fine. We're a freshman. Okay, fine. We'll follow the rules. We'll say F. 1,000. Grade level. Next, sophomores, 2000, J, 3000, S, 4000, um, how about we type in, uh, seniors, remember, valid characters, haha, <laughs> you're good, alright, um, Let's give uh, seniors another 4,000. All right, we're going to go ahead and exit. How about I go a little crazier? Yeah, it doesn't relent. And look at that. 1,000, 2,000, 3,000, 8,000. Winner of seniors. Catch it just like that. Let's go a little more berserk. Whoa. Must be a money amount. Oh. It's crazy. And then when I finally got the money amount, it then goes back to there. <laughs> See, it's a very robust program. And then with like an X, it took the one valid entry out of all the spam which was the one time or two times I typed in a money amount. Really cool. See, 43 was one time and uh, 534 was the other time and then they both happened to be freshmen. Really cool program. And yep, that's the end of this video.